Thanks, guys. You bet. That was one of the coolest rides, you ever rides I've ever had. We'll catch you later. <laughs> Ch Chaco and Bulldog, right? Yeah, awesome. All right, let's go. Sean Nelson, the guy behind the magic did his love sack, his corporate headquarters right here. We're going to head on down, mic him up, follow him around for a little while, and kind of try to get a sense of exactly what it is they do that makes this brand so unusually just that je ne sais quoi, which is a French word, which means, well, I don't know what that means. Let's go. I've got an appointment with Sean Nelson, okay. owner of Love Sack. Go ahead and go back that direction. He's in the back there. Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm looking for Sean Nelson, the hey. uh, chief sack. What's up, brother? Hey, how you doing? Good. <laughs> okay. You gonna show us your show yeah, us your pad? Yeah, yeah. This is Sack headquarters. Uh, we have 75 stores open right now. Uh, four in Australia. It's amazing, and it's been what, three, 10, 20 years, how long? It's been four years in retail, and uh, seven years since the basement days. And actually, some of those people are still here. I'll introduce you to them. Yeah, perfect. So, I, I'll listen, it's just a beanbag, right? Yeah, it's not a beanbag, okay. right? right? That's what my grandparents say. I'll show you them, too. Uh, Sactionals, which are the building blocks of furniture, original by Love Sack, um, which, which just like the sacks come with removable covers. You can get, in this case, we've got puppy fur and corduroy together, and the combination of sectionals and sacks just make the killer, killer lounge. You can do so many different things with it. It's really ingenious furniture. It's like building furniture out of Legos. Yeah, it's Legos for furniture. And Perfect. so all of these could be a sofa or a chair or, or whatever you want. It's basically just a side and a base. So this is four bases wrapped around a post. You do really cool stuff like that. Um, the pool table uh, rarely gets used, but it's definitely, uh, definitely uh, a symbol of, of Love Sack's attitude. We work hard to play hard, and unfortunately, sometimes working hard, you don't have a lot of time to play too much. But um, look at that. Oh. oh. Uh, so uh, let's see. Let's, let's, you've already met our uh, proud receptionist. Um, this is Nate Mayfield, this big guy over here. He was with us even before we had stores in one way or another. Um, shredding foam and shrinking sacks, and Nate now does business development for Love Sacks. So, sales through third-party channels like uh, Red Bull, Pepsi, QVC, QVC um, to Red Bull to Microsoft, whatever Microsoft, Apple. Apple. These are all companies that Nate sells to. Yeah. And uh, so, is this is, is having your desk here kind of like being employee of the month and getting the best parking spot? You know, it's out. <laughs> so yeah. you have the shortest distance to walk to the door. You notice there's not very many fat guys here. Well, I, I'm These just guys actually are... working on my how to be a better employee. I bet. <laughs> There's all kinds of crazy parts to the office. What office is complete without a ball pit, right? So this is your, uh, if you wanted a ball pit, this is your, you know, three thousand dollar ball pit. With yeah, the, this is this is the one thing you buy when you have everything else. Ball, that's right. You, you don't need anything else. You get your love you get sack a ball, ball pit. pit. So, um, what do you got to say for yourself, Big Chad? Not much. Rather been with the company since October. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. I'm trying to get that hardcore leisure feel and look throughout the store consistently. And Chad started in Indiana, drove to California for Christmas to cover a store for us, and was promoted up here just a couple weeks ago. And so. he, have you have you made it back to Indiana since you left? No. 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 We ri we uprooted him. Yeah. It's the Midwest. Nobody steals anything there. Just your stuff will be fine. For sure. Yeah. There are no walls here. Is that kind of a d conscious decision you made? Yeah, absolutely. No walls. No doors. On almost anything. Um, this is the uh, infamous DJ, DJ booth, something that no company in America has and something that will only get crazier as we go forward. Uh, this DJ room is where we broadcast live to all the stores in the country at one time. So every store in the Love Sack universe, including Australia actually, is listening right now to Axl Rose, Sweet Child, Oh Mine. And you can hear that on the speakers out there. And uh, if you like, you can listen in here. Now, the cool thing about the DJ booth is it allows, it allows us to stay connected to what's really going on out in Sackland. Who do you, who, what do you want to call? Uh, Give me a state. Uh, you want to call the gateway? All right, we'll call the gateway. So let's see. OK, so they're listening to Axl Rose right now. But we're going to go live, get a request. 
weekend. Get a request. Hashtag was Mark. Yo, Big Mark, what is going on, doggy? Is there a band that you want to hear today? How about some Blink 182? Live on Radio Sack, if you're listening to Blink 182, Shawnee D signing off with the Gateway. That's perfect. So, so is that how you choose? Like, who determines a playlist? Is I that... do. I do, and a few of us, a few others of us here do. And uh, we mainly take requests live all day long. Whenever we have someone in here, if not, it's, it's kind of on autopilot, where we have a predetermined playlist. Yeah, I don't. So. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before, ever anywhere in the universe. What's so cool about it is eventually this will have videos. So, in all of our stores, we have the big screen on the back wall, right? And so the, my face, like for instance, when I punch in in the future, I'll be talking to him, like, "Hey, what's up?" And it was Sean. What do you want to hear? It's a lot of fun. It's it's cool, man. The kids love it, and we'll we'll call up all the stores and get requests, or we'll we'll get on instant messenger and they'll PSI in their requests and that kind of thing. That is cool. This is a great example of our, our company culture. So. We had to come up with something for the employee of the year that would be uh, motivation for the future, for, the, for, for other employees to seek after. So this chair, this $1,000 leather office chair, which is, the, uh, which is all the rage of Wall Street, um, was given to Dave Haraldson for being the Love Sack employee of the year. Dave manages our entire retail system. What do you do? Tell them tell what you do. Retail systems. Retail point systems, of point of sale. He is, he, is, he is a god in the world of, of Love Sack sales associates because he's the guy who fixes all their problems when, when, when their computers go down or whatnot. And in fact, all the girls in the, in the, in the, in the stores have bets on what you look like because right. they, they say his voice is soothing and, and, and loving and That's right. it's pretty freaky. Anyway, so you got to sit. You got you to have a seat in this chair because once you sit, you'll understand. Oh. It's, pretty, it's, it's good, right? I've forgotten everything I ever knew about chairs. It's, it's, an, it's an amazing chair, and it's something that it's better than any trophy or even the lava lamp that we used to give, I think. Although I, I think I'd probably take a love sack over this, but... Um, See, the sacks are really not conducive to work, so that, that's no, that, as close no, as no, we you can get. Said, this, is something, this is something special. Yeah. I'm not kidding. It's no joke, man. You guys, fact, go, you guys spin, go ahead. Spin that around. We'll show you guys go ahead. We have no respect for anything, of course, at love sacks, so, so even, a, even the $1,000 chair, we will go ahead and... Uh, just, you know, draw all over. He's the employee of the year, uh, Dave Haraldson. He's got his name, uh, yeah, marked on that. So this is that's pretty much how it works around here. Go ahead, you guys. Just Not come bad. back here. This is one of the holes in our, in our uh, six-hole golf course that we have throughout the office. This is our first, first corporate uh, boardroom table. How do you like that? In this room, which is our product development room where we do all of our prototyping, sampling, Everything like from his computer screen, from flip flops to uh, t-shirts to body pillows, generation two sectionals, futons, more sectionals. Our graphics room, these guys are constantly working on new graphics for our furniture, our tag, our artwork, our tags and artwork, as well as products. Master designers, Lovesack has two of the best designers in, the, in this country, Mr. Shea Guevara and Mr. Lee Guile. Shea Guevara? Communist yeah, revolutionary. Communist <laughs> revolutionary that has gone uh, graphic designer. Mm, good to see you finally Caucasian. embracing uh, capitalism. Has it, has, it, has it suit you? It's working out. We've got our sewing machines and um, all of our prototyping can be done in house. Who did the, the, the tagging? The tagging uh, that was done by uh, a tagger. Yeah. Uh, he's a hardcore Salt Lake uh, tagger. I mean, I've gotten to know you, and this, like, this is you. I mean, if like, if you were distilled into office space, <laughs> this is it right here. Yeah, I'm afraid you're probably right. We've been, uh, we love the vibe. We love, we love the people most of all, and uh, we love the brand, Love Sack. I, you know, I believe it from the beginning will be one of the greatest brands in the world, given time and money and everything else. And uh, this is the, this is the heart of that.